Hello everyone and welcome to another episode. In this episode, I'm going to be focusing in on Sunrise for the web. And Sunrise is basically a calendar application that brings together a lot of different accounts that you may have, whether it's Facebook, iCloud, Google, and bringing them together in one place. And um, this is super cool. I've been using it for a fair while, I'm using it on iOS and Android and iPad as well. And now what I've been doing is using it on web a lot more because I've got Chromebook and a Chrome base and I've been using it heavily on there because I love using both of these devices around my day. So what I'm going to do is basically showcase some basic features to you, basic, basic, basic. Um, but then what I'm going to do is just quickly showcase the, you know, the real stretch that this thing can do, what, you know, the potential that this can bring out in your kind of productivity systems. So I've just skipped forward to October because I don't really want to show my personal calendar too much. Um, but from here on the left hand side, as you can see, you've got the sidebar. It brings up all the information around your accounts, interesting calendars, um, and it's also got the account settings, um, preferences, and notifications. You can also skip forward on dates, which is pretty useful. Um, up here, you've got the ability to get that knocked away and ding it just that way. And then up here, you have the ability to go into monthly view, which is pretty awesome. But there's kind of two great features that really do shine out for me on this application. And let's say I've got a nine o'clock appointment with Simon. So Let's say I want to meet with Simon um, for a coffee. What it automatically does is it understands that, oh, it should understand that I want a coffee with Simon. It's brought up a little picture of a coffee, which is lovely. And what I can do is I can choose specific types and a location, let's say Costa. Uh, okay, Costa with Waterstones, that's pretty cool. You can add a time zone, people to bring along which calendar it's going into, alerts, descriptions, and repeat. So just save that there, and a lovely picture of a coffee is coming up. And I like that. That's a really simple way um, of adding things to your calendar. I like that. That's a nice web feature. On top of that, there's also an invitation feature where every time an invitation through Facebook, through Google Calendars, through iCal comes up, you can get it from here, RSVP, decline it, click going, whatever you want, and it will dunk straight into your calendar, which is pretty useful. And the one killer feature that I love is its ability to sync. So what I'm going to do is I'm quickly bringing up my iPhone. And basically, my iPhone, what it's going to do is it's going to quickly add something to the 15th of May at 2 p.m. And what will happen is you should see on screen that I'm going to put something. And I'm going to tell you just before I send it, and then when it pops up, I think you're going to be pretty amazed. So three, two, one, I'm going to send cats right now. And cats should pop up within any few seconds. I mean, that, that kind of speed is really impressive. So what cats have done, and they've just popped up there as an event. I've literally just sent that on my thing, on my iPhone. And I love how fast it is. I love how fast it can sync. I love that that is an ability because as soon as you've got that ability, I mean, you can flip to the calendar and you can flip to your iPhone and and you're never kind of latent or slow or ruin a meeting based on that. So they're my kind of top tips for when you get start using this. And why you should start using it is because it's a really intuitive web application. I really love the web um, and how they've done it recently, um, Sunrise. And I think Microsoft seem to be keeping things alive and doing a killer job with it. So thanks very much, guys. And I make sure to tweet me at Francesco D underscore A-L-E-S. If you want to start showcasing what you're using, how you're using this stuff, because I'm really interested at the moment, to see how you guys are using these features and tools on the web. So thank you very much, guys, and make sure to have a great week and keep productive.